Dear students, in this module, we shall discuss the action potentials. Action potentials are the type of signals that neurons use to send information along the nervous system for long distances. The action potentials are brief but large changes in membrane potential that are propagated along the axon without decrement that is kam hue bagair puri intensity ke saath equally move karti hain the action potentials are very important as they control the effector responses they control the activation of voltage gated ion channels they control muscle contractions and they also cause exocytosis in fact action potentials are responsible for every sensation every memory every thought indeed every impulse ab hum action potential ki phases jin phases mein ye action potential mukammal hota hai ye takriban 5 steps mein mukammal hota hai the first step is the stimulation second step is the rising phase in which depolarization occurs the third phase is the peak phase and then fourth is the falling phase in which repolarization occurs while the last phase of action potential is the undershoot also known as after hyperpolarization hum in phases ko bari bari detail ke sath स्टडी करेंगे सबसे पहले हम स्टिमुलेशन की बात करते हैं वेन ए स्टिमुलस इज रिसीव्ड एट एक्जोन हिलॉक इट एक्जोन हिलॉक वो जगह है जहां से एक्शन पोटेंशियल जनरेट होता है एंड दिस प्लेस हैज वोल्टेज गेटेड आइन चैनल्स इन इट सो द स्टिमुलस कॉजेज द सोडियम चैनल्स टू ओपन in the neuronal membrane when sodium channels open sodium ions start to influx this results in change in membrane potential locally which is called depolarization as a result of depolarization membrane potential becomes positive relatively positive then a depolarization of about minus 55 to minus 30 millivolt is known as threshold that can trigger an action potential if the intensity of the stimulus is less than this threshold it is called a sub threshold it also causes depolarization but these depolarizations cannot initiate an action potential after a threshold has acted on the axon hillock sodium ions start to enter and membrane potential becomes less negative this causes more sodium channel to open causing an even greater influx of sodium ions यहां पर पॉजिटिव फीडबैक होता है जिसकी वजह से सोडियम आइंस जो जो एंटर होते हैं उतने ही ज्यादा सोडियम चैनल्स ओपन होते हैं क्योंकि इस वक्त तक अभी पोटाशियम चैनल्स बंद होते हैं इसलिए सोडियम करंट डोमिनेट करती है और मेम्ब्रेन पोटेंशियल पॉजिटिव होना शुरू हो जाता है द सोडियम चैनल्स बिकम मैक्सिमली ओपन एट द स्टेज द positive feedback slows down the membrane potential reaches a maximum that is close to the sodium equilibrium potential of positive 55 millivolts at this stage further depolarization stops and it is known as the peak ye ek thoda sa time jis dauran mein membrane potential positive range mein rehta hai ise hum overshoot kehte hain इसके बाद पीक फेज के बाद फॉलिंग फेज शुरू होती है मेम्ब्रेन दोबारा से रिपोलराइज होना शुरू हो जाती है 
the voltage gated sodium channels start to close so no further influx of sodium ions occurs voltage gated potassium channels start to open as a result potassium ions start to outflow jab potassium ions ka outflow shuru ho jata hai to membrane dobara se polarize hona shuru ho jati hai and this continues towards the potassium equilibrium potential of minus 58 millivolts result is repolarization that is reversal of membrane potential however the membrane repolarization initiates closing of potassium channels jab potassium channels close hona shuru hote hain to repolarization ka process slow down hota hai lekin पोटाशियम चैनल्स डिलेड रेक्टिफायर्स हैं ये देर से एक्टिवेट होते हैं इसलिए पोटाशियम आइंस का आउटफ्लो जारी रहता है एज ए रिजल्ट द मेम्ब्रेन पोटेंशियल डिप्स इवन बिलो द नॉर्मल रेस्टिंग मेम्ब्रेन पोटेंशियल दिस मींस दैट मेम्ब्रेन हैज बिकम हाइपर पोलराइज दिस ब्रीफ हाइपर पोलराइजेशन इज नोन एज अंडर or after hyperpolarization it persists till the potassium permeability returns to the normal value